Hello again, this is Asian Mujib and welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II tips. For this video, we'll be focusing on the new Type 38 sniper rifle. The collection is available within the Operation Overlord. The Type 38 was last seen in Call of Duty World War II as the Irisaka rifle. In game, the Type 38 has a fastest fire rate within the bolt action sniper rifle class, but comes with the worst one hit kill profile. One shot kill is possible if you strike anywhere within mid chest and above, including the upper arms and shoulders. Recoil is high and not a factor given the nature of the bolt action sniper rifle. Your sight will perfectly settle once the bolt is cycled. The sway is moderate, holding your breath is a must at long distance for a steady and perfect shot. The aim time appears to be slightly faster than the M1903 and the CAR-98, comparable to the Lee Enfield. The rate of fire is where the Type 38 shines, being the fastest of all the bolt actions, but still slower than the semi-automatic carabin. The fast fire rate is good for a follow-up shot should you spot multiple targets, miss or fail to kill within your first shot. The magazine side is short with just 5 rounds, extended magazine will increase this to 7. With the fast fire rate, we will be employing the Type 38 at a slightly closer range. Not too close, but at medium ranges. The armor division is a good choice for those who want to use the sniper rifle at slightly closer range, giving you a protection against explosives, fire, show shot, and tactical weapons. This division grants you a better bullet penetration. Basically, you get a free attachment of the FMJ. Lastly, you will experience less flinch when getting shot. Given that we will be getting closer to the enemies, the 4x optic scope is a good choice, granting you a lower magnification compared to the default scope, with better peripheral vision. Unfortunately, you cannot hold your breath, so the next recommended attachment is the ballistic calibration. This attachment will reduce the sway, giving you a peace of mind with a steadier sight. Overall, you don't have to worry about holding your breath for all of your shots, and you can focus more on your sights and surroundings. The third recommended attachment is the extended magazine, which increases it from 5 to 7 rounds. While 2 rounds may not seem much, but the downtime from a reload for the Type 38 can occur frequently due to its fast fire rate, and at medium range, you have less time to react and decide. The extended mags will keep you in a fight longer with less pause. For the secondary, any pistol will do as a close range defense when the enemy is pushing too close. For the lethal grenade, choose the bouncing baby S mine to guard your 6 when you are stationary for a while. For the tactical, the stun grenade will slow down your opponents, ideal if they have the upper hands on you or if they are together as a group. For the basic training, Blitzkrieg will require kills for your streak rewards instead of scores, and adds a 4th slot for your reward selection. Blitzkrieg will also improve your streak rewards too. This basic training is more useful in objective modes, while you will spend more time picking up enemies from distance, providing support for your team. Assists and kills from your killstreaks, however, don't count towards your killstreak, so be sure to make your shots count. For the tips, the Type 38 demands a hefty accuracy from an accurate marksman. With a poor one hit kill profile, you want to be patient and aim for the upper body for most cases. You could run around with a Type 38 and possibly earn many kills in quick succession, but if you miss, you are as good as gone. You want to fire from advantageous positions, such as from windows or any covers. If you struggle to hit somebody, be sure to stand still when firing, that way you have a steadier sight picture and easier to track targets. With the unlimited sprint from the update, you don't want to get into a habit of sprinting recklessly around the map. If you are within the hot zone, it may be best to just simply walk, so you can be ready to aim and fire. If you feel uncomfortable such as finding yourself at a disadvantage or too close to the enemies, falling back is a wise choice, as this will help you to stay alive and plan your next move. Whatever you do, accuracy is the most important factor and it is best to prioritize that. Overall, the Type 38 is a deadly sniper rifle, with a faster cycle of the bolt for a better follow-up shots. The aim time is slightly faster than the stronger rifles, useful at medium-range sniping. Unfortunately, the Type 38's one hit kill profile is poor, which requires a high demand in accuracy. A missed shot will often cause you a lot of trouble, even if the Type 38 can fire as a second shot faster than the rest of the sniper rifles outside the carabin. 
With the improved armor division, you will become a juggernaut, make it easier for you to land critical shots and makes it harder for the enemy to retaliate with explosives. If your accuracy holds true, you might just as well get a quad feed with the Type 38. And that's a wrap for the Type 38 weapon tips. For the next video is the Type 5 rifle. This is Asian with Jeep, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.